New York needs a boxing opponent. And last week, you took her destiny into your hands by voting for the boxer you want to see her fight. If New York wins, she gets a $10,000 paycheck. If she fails, she gets nothing. Your options this week were Mr. Boston, Brian the Pig Farmer, and Pumpkin. America, you have spoken. Today, New York goes to fight. I made it to the finale. Can you believe it? All these jobs I've had, I don't even have room on my resume anymore. So what I didn't get paid as a ghost hunter? The entire team will do a seance. What? Uh-uh. Oh, I'm just breathing my air. Good luck on your next job. Because unfortunately, you're not a ghost hunter. And then I didn't get paid as a clown. Y'all ain't giving me my fucking money today? I don't even care. I want my money. I'm serious. I'm getting pissed off. I was a lousy fast food worker. Would you stop honking your horn, please? She's a bitch. I don't give a about those jobs. One thing I know I can do is whip some ass. I'm going to be a boxer. I don't want to be in the ring with anybody else but pumpkin. Live like a princess. Rule like a queen. HBIC ain't playing in the ring. I'm going to fight as hard as I have to. House of Champions. All right, America. I'm going to kick some It's so nice to meet you. I'm Mia St. John. I am going to be your trainer over the next two days. Are you nervous? Hell no, I'm okay, ready. OK, we're going to do this. <laughs> Mia looks like she can whoop some ass. I am glad she's on my side. Now, the winner of this fight is going to receive $10,000. But if you lose, that is the confidence I want you to go in there with. All right. Are you ready? Hell yeah. All right, let's go. All right. Come on, girl. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the House of Champions and the official press conference of one of the most heavily anticipated VH1 sporting events ever. America has put Tiffany New York Pollard through a battery of tough and dirty jobs, and she managed to push her way through them virtually unscathed. But now here today, we stand at her final and probably her toughest job of all, professional boxer. America has voted for who they want to see New York fight, and with minutes before the fight, the winning vote will be revealed. The winner of this championship fight will receive $10,000. Let's give a big round of applause for the one and only HBIC Tiffany New York Pollard. as New York's trainer, we brought on one of the pioneers of the sport of women's boxing, the current WBC international champion. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Miss Mia St. John. <laughs> At this time, we want to introduce the three possible contenders. First up, you saw him rise to soaring heights of glory as he savagely battled and competed for New York's love, I Love New York. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Boston. This is Mr. Boston here from I Love New York, season one. I cooked New York food every night. We were making out numerous times. I thought it would only be a matter of days before I had her in the bedroom. I think you really, 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 really dig me. I definitely do. What happened? I go home after getting my ass kicked in the ring. I've come back here a little bit for revenge on New York, but a lot for the money. Our second contender, you know him as the bossy, overcritical taskmaster. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Brian Porkchop Jones. Yeah! 
I first met New York when she came to work on my dad's pig farm. My task with New York was to simply feed the pigs. And all she did the entire time was complain. Dump the rest in, and then we'll get some other food for the well, bee. we gotta get more food? Yeah. I really don't believe that New York earned that $10,000. Every job you did was really, really bad. So I don't get your vote? You're not getting my vote. Well, screw you, Brian. I'm really looking forward to being able to settle the score. And our final contender, she spit in your face in flavor of love. Get her out of here. She's Actually, gone. Actually, I can stop the oh, out of you because do I'm Do it! Slap me, bitch. Josh, you yeah. Who are you, You put your hands on me. Causing one of the most talked about incidents in television history, ladies and gentlemen, Brooke Pumpkin Thompson. <laughs> Pumpkin Thompson. Bitch, bring your ass out here. The qualities New York is going to need are stamina, speed, and technique. My lunch is coming back out. And our final contender, ladies and gentlemen, Brooke Pumpkin Thompson. Brooke Pumpkin Thompson. Apparently, Brooke is a no show. Oh, I'm surprised. If I was that bitch, I wouldn't have showed up either. I'm New York, uh, you right. maybe scared her off when I'm she surprised. ran off after the spatting. America. Under the rules of the HBIC World Championship fight, if she does show up in time tomorrow, for the event, and America votes her in, she will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with New York. I hope she shows up tomorrow, because I can't wait to smash her pumpkin head in. Now I'd like to open up the floor to the fighters. 6-1 and a menacing 175 pounds. Let's give it up for Mr. Boston. Thank you, everyone. Mr. Boston here. I think the time has come for what the audience has been waiting so many years for. New York, knocked down, on the ground, Mr. Boston style. He's freaking dreaming. We'll see about that. I will take questions now. Mr. Boston, are you worried about being uh, looked at as a, a jerk that beats on women? Or... I have thought of that, but the thing is, the last couple years, I've had a lot of people ask me if New York really is a woman and if she's not a man, so it may not even feel like if I'm actually boxing a woman. Well, what do you say that about? Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Boxy. <laughs> Our next contender is five foot eight, 130 pounds. From Gaviota, California. And let's hear it for Brian Porkchop Jones. Porkchop! Growing up at the Pork Palace, I'm no size myself. Throwing around some hay bales, wrestling some pigs. I'm going to go out there and be quick, and she won't even see what hit her. Are there any questions? Brian, you said you wrestled pigs on the pig farm. Are you comparing New York to a pig? That's right! I want to know that, too! Um, I would have to compare New York to a pig because standing right here, it almost smells like the oh. pig crap. That you, know what? you know what that is? Like That's the pig <laughs> underneath his fingernails. Hello, hello. Don't blame that on me. Thank you. <laughs> Training these contenders, professional trainer, Owner of the House of Champions, let's give it up for Mark Parra. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for uh, Tiffany, New York Pollard. All right. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. OK, I'm here. What y'all got for me today? What do you think it'll take to knock out a big guy like Mr. Boston over there? Oh, it won't take much of nothing to knock him out. Hello? Goodbye. New York, I got a question. You were hit by the mm -hmm. spit herd around the world. Don't you really yeah. want to face Pumpkin? Hell yeah, where is this bitch? Where is she? She's scared. Pumpkin, if you out there and you hear me, girl, I'm waiting on you. I don't want to fight Brian. I don't want to fight Boston. I want to fight you, and you know that. This is my fight, and if Pumpkin shows up and I get a chance to fight her, I'm going to tear her apart. Hey. All right, fellas. Feeling good? Yeah, absolutely. Feeling right. pumped. Getting my ass kicked by Chance definitely still haunts me because people still see me on the street. Hey, Chance kicked your ass. And yeah, I mean, I, I've been waiting almost three years to finally redeem myself. My official title is Sensei. 
Sensei, okay. I've been doing martial arts for over 30 years. Wow. I train professional boxers, kickboxers, and MMA fighters. Mark told us to call him Sensei. I didn't know what the hell the word meant. I didn't care. I was just looking forward to beating up New York. And if this Mark guy's a little cuckoo, whatever. It's sort of a lose-lose situation for you guys. You beat her up, everyone's gonna say, oh, you beat up a girl. Yeah. You lose, oh, you got beat up by a girl. You may have to fight a girl, but for money, it's OK yeah. if the reputation takes a little beating. I like it. I am going to be strict with them. No nonsense. I don't see myself joking around with them very much. I need them to get the job done. Let's go in the mirror and do a little warm-up, OK? Mm. Come on. Hey, what's uh, up? Look at you. Girl, it's me. <laughs> OK. First, I'm going to take you through the cardio. I want to get you at least nice and warmed up. I want you to sweat a little. Oh, girl, I'm good at spread, sweating, especially okay. in the bedroom. OK, and then, <laughs> okay, and then we're going to stretch. Yeah. The qualities New York is going to need are stamina, speed, and technique. But I'm confident that I'll be able to teach New York the basic skills that she will need for her first professional boxing fight. Mia, you got to teach me something so I can knock these suckers out real quick. Just give it one hand. Try a figure eight, try circling, try walking forward and back. Spread out so you don't hit each other. There you go, I like it. That's it. Like that. Mark had us doing a lot of exercises, which is good. I mean, it was a little tiring, but I put in some good cardiovascular workouts in the gym, so I was prepared. Good. OK, shake it out. That is good, New York. You go, girl. Because I used to play double dutch at high school <laughs> and in grade school, too. Such a sissy. What you said to me? No, I'm not getting tired. Damn, I just had lunch. Okay, get over here. I just had roast beef. Okay, don't y'all be with me. From what I saw today while she was training, I don't think she's gonna bring much to the table tomorrow. One, two, three. Oh. Mark taught us the uppercuts, the jabs, the hooks, and it's great because those are punches that I need to know to beat New York's ass. Four. One more. Five. The training the sensei put us through was definitely grueling. I mean, it took a toll on me physically and mentally. OK, good. Let's uh, get a quick swig of water, and then we're going to glove up, and we're going to work on the mitts and go to the backs. Let's go. This is all you need. If you have this distance, no one can ever, should Ooh, ever like get in this man. circle. It's like this a sword. Like, this, bitch, back up. That's like, right. OK. Exactly. You got it here. Oh, no, this I don't is like your that. space. My stay the f away from me, punch. That's right. And since we have like such little time, are you guys eavesdropping? They better not be. Yeah, hell yeah, they eavesdropping because they're trying to pick up on your technique. Here. Okay, it ain't that's gonna, what's going on. It ain't on. gonna matter, Mia. Those suckers aren't even on my radar. I want to fight the one person that showed me the most disrespect, and that's you, pumpkin. Stop it out fast. <laughs> fast. <laughs> That's right. Knee away. There you go. That's good. If you're in New York and you hit Mr. Shut Boston. Up. I don't want to hear my name no more. Nobody's talking to you. Excuse hey. me? Oh, my look, goodness. Look, go to your corner, right? Keep They're going to start the count. Mouth. One. That's what two, I said. That's what I said. Three. New York was spending a lot of energy, you know, with all of that, so. She's going to have less to bring tomorrow. Uh, come on, four straight ones. Uh, start with your right. Oh, he is all over the place. Weave under. I'm going to tear his ass up. Good, don't get so low. If you're tall, stay tall. Make her come. Because I'm very tall and I have great reach, she won't be able to reach me, while at the same time, I'll just be reaching her in her face or her breasts. Jeff. Your jab is your most important tool. Now I want you to step into it and turn your shoulder into it. Bjork has a very good jab, very strong jab. She's got some natural moves. It's very yeah. instinctual for her. Jab, jab. This was so hard. I didn't think I was going to be able to do this. Double jab. But then Mia gave me the motivation I needed. She mentioned pumpkin, and then it was on. Whose world 
is this? It's New York world. This is your That's space. Right. Okay. Whose ring is this? It's New York. This is the HBIC up in this bitch. Who shows? Is this the pumpkin show? Hell no. This is New York. I was the work, damn it. And I'm a professional ass boxer. I can't imagine it being that difficult. No. Land a few punches, play a little defense. He's like okay. 70 pounds soaking wet. <laughs> Grab right. Okay, step in. Grab right. Take a 10-minute break. When you come back, we're going to do some sparring. Okay. Oh. Hey, how's the workout going today? What you talking about, punching bag? What? Yeah, you my little punching bag. Y'all know who y'all getting ready to fight, right? HBIC. That's right. Who's nervous? Well, anyways, I'm gonna win. Well, we'll see about that. I mean, there's money on the line and my my reputation after getting knocked out last time. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of what happens, we can always reminisce about those good times we had in the house. I am nowhere near sick of you. I'm so glad you said that. It is good to see you, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Part of my strategy was to remind her that I'm kind of this nice, harmless guy, so when I get in the ring with her, she'll have no idea what's hitting her. Seriously, you guys are in for a really bad fight tomorrow because I'm going to bring it. I'm going to whoop you guys' ass. I don't care if it's you, Brian, or Pumpkin. Whoever loses, I'm going to buy champagne. You're going to buy champagne for yourself? <laughs> you know what? Shut the hell up, Brian. All right, guys, break's over. Let's get to sparring now. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. Yes. All right, come on. I can't wait to spar. After these boys see what they're up against, they won't dare step in the ring with me. Let's go, boys. Come on. Make me proud. Of course. All right, you guys. I'm going to introduce you to your sparring partner for tonight. This is Spice Williams Crosby, and she is going to kick your butt tonight. Hi, Spice. Hi. All right, fighters. So I was a pro wrestler for 15 years, and I was known for picking up 300-pound guys, dumping them, and knocking them out. <laughs> I will be your sparring partner. Sparring partner? She's a beast. I don't want to get in the ring with her. And gentlemen, I know this is not kickboxing today, but I hope you have your cups. Just in case of a low blow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Boston. Yeah. I believe you are our first victim. Let's go. Spice Williams may be more than twice my age, but God knows what she's been doing to build those muscles up. I, I don't even want it now. Ready? Come on. In. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I can't wait to watch Mr. Boston get his ass handed to him. Okay, touch glove. Ding, ding. Box. There you go. Good See how flat-footed he is? Yes. He's almost even on his heels, so okay. you're not going to do that. Find your jab, Mr. Boston. There you go. Stay loose. Just touch her with the jab. Mr. Boston came out a little tight, and he was too close. So his punches were being jammed, and he was in Spice's punching range. Take your time. See how, See how he did that? She caught him back. right there. Yeah. He has no game, no technique. 30 seconds, you guys. 30 seconds left. Here, throw that jab. Carry it. Throw it. Carry it. After a minute, I was feeling pretty tired, and I realized boxing is a very tiring sport. He's not protecting himself. Mr. Boston, you weak. You weak as hell. Time, time. Spice Williams definitely kicked my ass a little bit. I am definitely more worried about fighting a woman because I realize some of them can just be ruthless in the ring. OK, come on in. I've never sparred before, but I can't imagine it being that difficult. Land a few punches, play a little defense. OK, touch him up. He looks too cute to be in there. I feel so bad for him. I know, I feel bad for him. I want to destroy his ass. Box. <laughs> Well, at least he's moving. He's moving. He's like okay. 70 pounds soaking wet. <laughs> okay, all right. Look at his legs. Like he's all over the place. There you go. Put it in her face. That's good. Good listening. 
Brian might have been a little nervous in the beginning, but he listened to my instructions. He moved his head around her, her jab and her punches, and he went for the head and the body. 30 seconds, what you got? Come on, show me something. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. I like it. I like it. Move forward. Oh, he don't know what the hell he's doing in the ring. And you got 10 seconds. Don't stop. Keep punching. Work, work. I like it. Keep going. Go, go, go. Time. All right, not bad, not bad. Considering that Brian only weighs 70 pounds, he didn't do that bad. But now it's time for me to show these boys how it's done. On. Mm -hmm. Wait, turn your hand over. Okay. Nice and tight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now remember what we're gonna do, right? You're gonna start out just jabbing. Pop that jab right in her face. Do not stand right in front of her, okay? Move, move, move. Just pop her right in the face. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna pretend that Spice is a thinner, prettier version of pumpkin, and I'm just gonna pop her right in the face. Whose ring is this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. Touch gloves. Okay. Jab. Keep your jab out there. Keep your stick out there. Good, New York. It looks good. Looks good. Move. She started out doing great. Her punches were hard. She had great movement. Right. To the right. 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 Don't think she's going to go by the rules. Yeah. Keep it out. Keep it out. Step in with the jab. Step in. Get out of the corner, get out. Hey, get out, get out of the corner, New York, get out, get out. When New York got caught with one of Spice's punches, it shocked her. She got very emotional, and that's exactly what I didn't want her to do. Because you're showing your opponent your cards. New York, do not turn your back. New York, calm down. New York, calm down, calm down, breathe. Take a step back, take a step back, breathe. Get your composure. And what the here we go. Come on. She spent. She's not going to make the round. Come on, New York. You can do it. Here we go. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Let me show you how to do it. New York. You can do this. You can do this. Keep your hands up. Jab right. Jab right. Do it again. Team Do it again. Keep your punches. Come on. Get in there. Come on. Go. This is a done deal. Done deal. Yeah. Keep your punches. Jab her. Get in there. Jab. Okay, time. How do you feel? I don't like that. I don't like doing that. You did good, though. Mm -mm. No, you did really good. I don't like doing that. Hitting a punching bag and hitting a person are two totally different things. I just don't know if I can do this. OK, let's get some water. I don't want no water. I don't like this. New York, listen, the only reason she came at you strong was because you were hitting her so hard. Do you want to get some water? I don't like that. I'm not, I don't want to hit somebody in the face. Like, that's not who I am. I don't want to be like that. That's not for me. Father, I don't know who I'm going to fight tonight, but whoever it is, I know I'm going to beat their face in. And with your help, I know it's possible. I'm not worried about anything. Hey, Mia. Hey, you. Hi. How you feeling? Ah, uh, I feel crazy as hell. I'm really shaken up from the fight with Spice. I don't know if I can do this. Tell me how you're feeling. I don't know. Like, hitting the punching bags is one thing and practicing right. with the gloves and everything, but actually, like, having an opponent that I don't know and that didn't do nothing to me physically, I think that kind of messed with me. And that's what you're going to have to try and overcome tomorrow night when you're walking into that ring. OK. The physical part is easy, but this mental stuff may keep me out of the ring. If you look at it, New York, I mean, you've been overcoming obstacles for weeks. Oh, my gosh, that's you, true. You did the exterminator. And then there was the pig farmer, too. You know, I was out of my right. element there. And then you did something really scary. All the ghosts. ghosts. Oh yes. My God. So you've already done all that. Mm -hmm. And now you're here. You're going to step in that ring, and you're going to do your job. 
It's a job. All right. I separate my emotions. And I believe you're going to overcome this tomorrow night. I think I feel confident physically. But emotionally, I just need, like you said, to separate myself from the person. Man's advice was great, but I really need some spiritual help. And I know just where to find it. Heavenly Father, I thank you for putting me in this opportunity. I thank you for making me strong. But Father, I ask that you give me the strength that I need to win this fight tonight. Lord, I know I've been weak at times over these last few months. Please, can you move on more, Lord, Lord, Lord. I can't do this. I can't. Get the hamburger bun. All right. And throw it on the ground. Oh, 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 I just burned my finger. Your hamburger bodies are burning. And I definitely didn't give it my all from time to time. I'm tired. Man, I feel like I'm gonna faint. But she's got to be picked up in 20 minutes. I'm tired, damn it! What you mad at? Are you mad at me? <laughs> Seeing all those checks get ripped up in front of my face didn't help my confidence either. Good luck on your next job. I'm sorry, New York, but that's two weeks in a row, and... You know what? this place! Lord, I don't know who I'm gonna fight tonight, but whoever it is, I know I'm gonna beat their face in, and I'm gonna win my 10 Gs, and with your help, I know it's possible. I'm not worried about anything. Amen. You can cut the tension with a knife. This is the Ali Frazier Fight of Reality Shows, New York versus the mystery opponent. The question is tonight, will America pick Pumpkin as the fighter? And if so, will she even show up? Welcome to the House of Champions in beautiful Van Eyes, California. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, VH1 Television is proud to present the World HBIC 2009 Title Fight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to work! Our first fighter will be fighting out of the blue corner. Let's give it up for Tiffany, New York. Hello! Here comes the champion, Tiffany, New York. Follow in New York's corner is trainer Mia St. John. Not only is she the WBC international champion, but she's also an author. Yeah, she wrote a book called The Knockout Workout. New York's definitely in good hands tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment America has been waiting for. Let's do this. The reveal of who New York will be fighting tonight. Remember, the choices are Mr. Boston, Brian Porkchop Jones, or Pumpkin. And the winner of the vote, Pumpkin. Well, this is no surprise. Pumpkin has won the vote. We are on the verge of making history. But ladies and gentlemen, Pumpkin has chickened out and did not show tonight. Apparently, she only has the guts for cheap shots. Pumpkin, I knew you were a coward and a punk ass. You had a chance to settle this like a woman, and you chickened out. In accordance with the rules, the fighter with the second amount of votes will fight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 174 pounds, and trained by Mark Parra from the city of Boston, Mass. Let's give it up for Mr. Boston. Well, there you have it, Gabe. She will face off tonight against the tall, lanky, slightly geeky Mr. Boston. I'm going to pretend Mr. Boston is pumpkin, and I'm going to bash his freaking face in. <laughs>
some straight punches right down the pipe. Judges have scored the fight. Technique went completely out the window. <laughs> well, that's Gabe. I guess that's what happens when you only have one day of training. No, you were doing good. You were doing good. Water, please, mouthpiece. She ain't gonna finish. She ain't gonna finish. Do you remember your shadow boxing and your boxing well? Do you remember that? You yeah. gotta go out and shadow box his ass. He's nothing to you. Take some more water. Well, it comes down to this. With the knockdowns, it seems an insurmountable lead at this point for Mr. Boston. It all comes down to this round. New York has to win this round for her to have a chance of retaining her HBIC title. Ready, ready, let's go. And here we begin the third round. There's the first jab and the first right hand from Tiffany Pollard. Immediately she's on her bicycle, but she's moving a little smarter. Seems to be a little more settled down. But she is pushing her punches a bit. But look at the boys of Boston just slowly stalking New York, who's really in a panic. Nice, nice, calm, relaxed. Now the right hand that misses from New York. Boston seems to be taking a different strategy this round. Not so sure if it's going to work out for him. Seems a bit conservative. You know, that could be a big mistake. Only two rounds left. Defense, defense, defense. That's right. Okay, this is the last round. It's one minute, but don't let her get too much power. You get one more round and you're in. You're in. You're focusing. You're dancing. You are just keep that up. Just exactly what you did. Okay, this is the last round. Yeah. So this time we're gonna not chase her. We're gonna stalk her. Hit her to the body. Let's go make 10,000. Okay, guys, let's go. You bring it. Round. round number four. Round number four. This is your last round. New York definitely needs this round to stay alive, Gabe. New York has got to make this one count if she wants a fighting chance of holding on to her title. Okay, let's go. Oh, look at that 
energy. Looks like she's got the speed, too. Catch my breath. That was intense. Boston dominated the first two rounds. If the second two or anyone's call, she did crank it up a level. Yeah, Mr. Boston did lose it a bit in those last two stanzas. Honestly, it could go either way. We are back at the House of Champions Arena. After four rounds of intense boxing, we are ready to hear the judges' decision. You did a great job. You stepped you in that job. ring and that takes yes, courage. Did. Yes, you did. Good thing I was wearing the cup. She kicked me about eight times. Before I announce the winner of the bout, please give a big round of applause to both these fighters tonight. Judges have scored the fight. Judge number one scored the fight. 10, 9, 10, 9, 9, 10, 9, 10. Judge number two scored the bout. 10, 9, 10, 9, 9, 10, 9, 10. Judge number three. 10, 9, 10, 9, 9, 10. 9-10, ladies and gentlemen, we have a draw. She came in, the HBIC, she retains her belt, she goes out as the HBIC. Let's give her up for the HBIC champion, Tiffany New York Holland. Each of these folks tonight will be taking home one half of the prize money. That's $5,000 for both fighters. Give it up for both fighters again. New York, you retain the belt. HBIC, it's got to mean everything to you. Hell yeah, it means a lot to me. And y'all better remember, I was up against a freaking man. I mean, come on, this is fun. You know what, this is going to wrap up this fight. Let's give it up one more time for both fighters. New York Goes to Work has taught me so many life lessons. I may not always succeed, but I'm capable of doing anything that I set my mind to. So that's a wrap for New York Goes to Work. Peace out, America. Where are you going to go from here? I think it's time to celebrate with one of these fine women getting the Boston charm all night long. Yeah. Now, you actually, like, fell in love with New York for a while, and then she broke your heart on the show. Tell me, is there any chance in the world that now she's hit you, you actually like her a little more? Since the show, I've been getting laid left and right. There are so many other women for me to think about now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Wall Street.